What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, sorry if I'm a little quiet. It is kind of night, so um, I don't want to wake up anybody. <laughs> so um, I want to go ahead and show you guys where to find your original videos. If for any reason you can't find your videos in the Final Cut Pro 10 project library. So I know it can be a little bit, you know, um, a little bit challenging when you want to go back and find that video that you want. Maybe you have other videos that are in that same folder if you've created a folder and you want to just go back and just find out where that original video is. It can be a little bit tricky because I know you might have moved the file and then you can't find it or maybe you have done other, other things where Final Cut Pro 10 just kind of hides that file, the original media. So I'm going to show you guys where to actually find the original videos and stuff like that and within the library of everything that's kept. So like, let's say you have a huge library, okay, and you have all of your effects, all of your music, everything in one library, and this is a library right here, and then you have um, your smart collections, and then the events, okay? And then you have your projects, and then the, all the footage, and all the media, okay? And let's say you wanna find all of the original media. Well, to do that's actually really easy. All you have to do is go to Finder, and then in the finder, you want to go ahead and go on to the top here. You might have movies on the side. If you guys do have that, just go to movies. But if you don't, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys won't have that option. So just go to the top and go to go. Hold down the alt, the alt or option key on your Mac keyboard. And then go on to, um, or sorry, just click on home or, sh or uh, shift command H. And then from here, what you want to do is go to the movies folder. You can also drag this over here so it's easier to find. And so now you can just click on movies and you're going to have um, you're going to have either one library or have multiple libraries. Uh, for me, I like to create multiple libraries depending how big your hard drive is. This may be a reason why you might want to back up your original media. So to do that, um, let's say we were working on the test one, which is this one here. And we might have we only have one video here, but there might be a lot more. Well, if you right click on this and we go to show package contents, Click on that, okay? You don't want to click open because it's going to open up the um, the actual library folder in Final Cut Pro 10. So just right click and click show package contents. And then here you're going to have a, a list of, of folders. You're going to have the temp, um, one that has a date, and then you have a motion template folder. Um, you want to go ahead and open up the one that says the date, okay? So open up that one. And then you're going to have a couple of folders as well. You're going to have the current version. It's a Final Cut Pro um, it looks like event, and that's the event that we have here. Then we have the original media, which is the actual folder that everything is kept in. Then we have render files, and you want to keep this folder here all, all the time. You don't want to ever change this because you might have to re-render everything else. And then you have the test. So the test is pretty much um, these folders here and this one, you don't want to touch. Um, I mean, you don't want to touch any of this, but if you want to make a backup of the original video of the original media, then this is where to go. And then open up the original media. And now you can see that we have the original video clip that we used for the project. And you can see if I open this up by opening it up in QuickTime, you're going to see that this is the original video and you will have all of your music, all of your pictures, video, songs, stuff like that in here. If I push play, you're going to see that it's that it's working as you can see there. I can skim through it and I'm going to quit that and you can see that it works. Okay. So if you wanted to make a a backup for any reason let's say you work on a macbook and you only have like a 128 gig um, ssd or a very small um, hard drive then you want to back up your your content because you know final cut pro 10 the libraries get very very large they can go up to 60 gigabytes so if you want to back it up this is the way to do it all you got to do is just select the original media folder press command c and then hook up your external hard drive or flash drive whatever you're going to be using it or the cloud and just go ahead and right click and create a zip file just to zip everything together if you want to do it that way it'd be much easier or you can just copy the folder and drag it onto the new hard drive so just you know a little heads up when it comes to um, managing your files and your footage and stuff like that so if you guys found this tutorial helpful be sure to leave a like that'd be awesome guys subscribe turn on the bell notification and i'll catch you guys next time peace